Ricky Gervais and Dave Chappelle have released their specials, and the internet has once again lost its tiny little mind. People can't believe that these comedians who've always told offensive jokes have gone on stage and told offensive jokes. Of course Dave Chappelle told a whole load of jokes about trans people. I'd be offended if he didn't. That's why a lot of people go and watch his shows. At this point, Dave's entire audience is probably made up of gender-critical feminists. Or, as they're otherwise known, lesbians. Basically, Dave Chappelle's audience is made up of women who look just like me. Asking Dave Chappelle to not do trans jokes is like going to watch a Trevor Noah show and expecting jokes. It ain't gonna happen. And what his detractors don't understand is this is half the reason he loves doing them. He loves pissing people off. And he knows that idiots are going to tweet about it, demanding his cancellation. And other idiots are going to deliver badly performed monologues to camera, trying to piggyback off his success. That's the currency of the internet now. It's not the quality of the jokes, it's how much notoriety you can generate with your jokes. The more you piss people off, the more likely they are to share your material. And not only that, you get a kick out of pissing people off who you disagree with. Who doesn't love reading a Guardian article with the title Dave Chappelle's trans jokes are worse than being fisted by an SS guard in Auschwitz. And it's basically a rant by some non-binary girl who hates rich white men because her dad's one and he left her mum for a younger model. Every time the New York Times hears that Dave releases a new special, they rub their hands with glee as they can write another article about how a 50-year-old black man has now joined the ranks of white supremacy by punching down on trans people. This makes a welcome change from writing articles about why Trump has joined the ranks of white supremacy. There are only three million times you can write the same article before you and your audience start to get a little bored. Not The Guardian. They've written that article six million times and it gets more ejaculations from their audience than Pornhub. Also, Dave is Muslim. And say what you like about the religion of peace, it's never been the most tolerant when it comes to sexual minorities. Compared to the average 50-year-old Muslim in Saudi Arabia, Dave is hopelessly woke. He should grow out what's left of his hair, dye it blue, get a septum piercing, and demand that the audience don't clap as it triggers his PTSD, then burst into tears when they don't clap as they're not appreciating his art. The left aren't the only ones to play this game. Scarcely a week goes by without some tedious whinge bag on the right demanding that we cancel a left-wing comedian for being unfunny. The latest person to face this ire is Rosie Jones. Rosie is a comedian with cerebral palsy. This condition affects the way she moves and the way she speaks. Rosie is also very left-wing and openly pro-trans. Her material reflects this worldview, just like Ricky's and Dave's reflects theirs. That's what's great about comedy. It welcomes everyone and it allows disabled people to take part. Wonderful. It also allows people with learning difficulties to participate. And that's why we have Nish Kumar. I had a bread roll thrown at me. I realise this is an offensive joke and I apologise. As someone who has been diagnosed with a learning difficulty, I'd be furious if someone compared me to Nish Kumar. Every comedian has their audience. Some people will love Dave Chappelle and others will love Rosie Jones. It's subjective. Chill out. The only thing you need to know about comedians is this. If they're male and they do material about being a male feminist, they're a sex offender. This rule applies every single time. Every time you see a comedian talk about what a great guy is and how he respects women, audiences should act like they're on the Titanic. Get the hell out and make sure the women and children go first. Ricky Gervais is someone who has also addressed controversial subject matter in his stand-up, making jokes about left-wing people supporting illegal immigration and Gary Lineker. Apparently this now makes him right wing. The last time I checked, illegal immigration was illegal. And Gary Lineker is a multi-millionaire, former footballer and celebrity. Since when did taking the piss out of celebrities with demented opinions become right wing? 2016, when both Ricky and Dave would have been considered lefties until we all lost our tiny little minds and drank so much Kool-Aid, none of us know who we are anymore and can't even answer a question as simple as what is a woman? Which, ironically, is the only question I got correct on my high school biology exam. Because whilst I may have learning difficulties, I'm not Nish Kumar. Before you go, let me take a minute to recommend a longevity supplement by Verso. In our recent interview with Tim Urban, he said, We should be talking about 
longevity and longevity science. Researchers like the biologist David Sinclair have recently made some fascinating discoveries on how to mitigate or even slow down aging altogether, and that's why I'm using Verso. Verso is a company that translates these incredible scientific breakthroughs into products that hold the potential to increase your longevity. And one of their products that I take every day is called Cell Being. Cell Being helps combat aging by increasing something called NAD plus in your body. Now, NAD is arguably the most important molecule in your body. High NAD levels improve your metabolism, repairs damaged DNA, and increases energy production in your brain, immune system, and muscles. But as you grow old, your body's NAD levels go down and you can't take NAD as a supplement because it's too big for your cells to absorb. That's why Verso Cell Being contains NMN, resveratrol, and TMG. These three molecules work together to increase NAD plus levels. If you want to read more about this, check out the scientific research linked in the description of this video. Plus, Verso publishes third-party testing on every batch of its products to guarantee that you're getting exactly what you're paying for. So if you want to join me, you can get 15% off by going to ver.so. That's ver.so and use code TRIGGER to save 15% off your order. And if you enjoyed that, then watch this video where I talk about how the demand for racism seems to have outstripped the supply.